this video we're going to show a quick demonstration of how to change the voltage from 230 to 480 or 480 to 230 on most P model machines. Uh, newer model machines will have four basic steps that need to be completed. If you have any questions, please consult your factory for direction. They always, of course, make sure the power is off to the machine before starting. Open the on-side door, remove the enclosure lid, and once inside, there's a few basic steps inside of here that need to be taken care of. Here you can see the three heater strips right next to the reset button. Those will need to be changed. You can consult the factory or your owner's manual for the different sizes per voltage. Over on the transformer, on this side here you can see the jumper bars are split. This would be for a 480 volt setup that uh, is indicated on the transformer, also in the owner's manual. The, uh, for 230 volt, they would be removed and stacked in the middle location. They uh, stack them both there, so it's there in case it needs to go back to 480. The, uh, on the transformer, you'll see a secondary fuse. That will not need to be changed. The, uh, but up above on the newer model Piranhas, there is some primary fusing. There's two fuses there that will need to be switched out according to voltage. Again, consult the factory, your owner's manual, or new model Piranhas have a decal located right up by the serial number plate that also indicates fuse sizes. This leads us to the last step of the operation here would be on the other side of the machine, the drop side, and the motor wiring will need to be changed on that side. Here on the drop side of the machine, you can see we have the door swung open and the motor cover plate removed to expose the wiring. The, uh, you can pull it out and the wire nuts will need to be removed. The, uh, there is a chart, again in the manual, you can consult the factory or there is this nice chart here right above that shows the two voltages, low voltage versus high voltage. Uh, to make sure you understand the wiring diagram, it's helpful to review that for the voltage that it's currently wired for before you take the wire nuts loose and then you'll understand the diagram for switching voltage. But yeah, this would be the last step from a 230 to 480 conversion but yeah, or vice versa. For other voltages such as 208, single phase, 575, please consult the factory for direction on those.